Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 6. It is the 24th of July, 3018. I'm going to try to make sure to announce the starting date of every episode so that you have some idea of how much time has passed since then. We are here on the star map in a place called Tripoli, and I stopped there because there were rare mech and rare weapon tech on the market, and there's also some over here in Marduk. We're probably going to spend a lot of money. We're inching our way over here uh, to Zosha, where we were going to do some this high <coughs> risk reward contract. And for some strange reason, my throat has decided to give me trouble. Anyway, the reason I wanted to stop here is because of this. There is a rare enforcer. Take a look at that. It has two ultra auto cannon fives. Now, I this mech is expensive. It's 10 million. I'm probably gonna buy it. And here's why. I want the ultra auto cannons. I don't necessarily want the mech. <laughs> but I want those cannons. Uh, I'd rather put something else in its arms. So Ultra auto cannons don't show up very often, and I certainly haven't seen them a lot in my other games. And you can get like auto cannon burst fires instead and put them in there. Uh, but for that particular mech, it just to have them for later uh, on mechs that where they could be really useful seems kind of important. So it's a chunk of change. And then the other thing that it has is a couple of. Uh, it's got a small laser that is uh, a version three, what tier three they call it, and then it's got a small pulse laser actually. Um, I'd like to buy those. I don't, since they're since they're relatively cheap, I'm gonna buy them. But the the mech is the big deal, so I think uh, I think we have to buy that bad boy. So I'm gonna purchase that. And then I don't really have any other mechs to sell. Do I? I could sell that fire starter, but I kind of want to try it on a mission at some point. In time. I'm going to sell the javelin. It's not necessary. So it'll give us a little money back. And then there is equipment to sell, but I had done a bunch of selling not too long ago. Like there are some medium lasers. You could sell a few of those. Uh, I don't know that there's anything else here that I want to sell. There's a bunch of these lower AC5s. But I'm going to hang on to those because we're probably going to stick those in its arm. So, uh, LRMs, I sold a bunch of those. So at some point in time, I'll go through these and sell them. But for now, I'm going to hang on to this stuff. There's a bunch of LRM 10s here. And get rid of those. The lower tier ones you can get rid of. All right. And then, is there anything in here? There's jump jets. I tend not to use because I'd rather have more ammunition or more armor. Single heat sinks. Probably get rid of a few of those. So we're up to six million. So let's do that. We're gonna take care of our battle mech here. Uh, let's <clears throat> the enforcer. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's take a look at him. First of all, <laughs> ultra AC5 ammo, which means we should go to equipment and we should buy as much of that as there's going to be in here. If there's going to be any. Oh, there's none here. See, that's another problem. You get. It's got. Comp Here's the difference between this and Battletech it just counts AC5 ammo, not ultra AC5 ammo. It's not a different thing. So that's really interesting. Okay, well, we're going to take this out. It's got a double heat sink, a small laser. It's a medium energy slot. Okay, that's nice. We're going to get rid of those two things. We're going to get rid of its jump jets. We're going to max out its armor. Take this stuff off. All right, everything else is maxed out. Take this down. So what do we want to put on this guy? Hmm, well, let's look. You could do... <clears throat> it's got a lot of room, yeah? So you could do regular AC5s. You could do these AC5 medium ones. Um, the tier ones. I think that's probably a pretty good idea. And then some kind of medium laser. You could do a medium pulse laser if you wanted to. 
Uh, the damage on that is 6.6 .6 compared to 5 for a medium laser. This one is a medium laser 4. It's 5.25. Uh, the pulse laser might not be a bad idea. Let's put that thing on there. Let's get it some ammo. AC5 ammo. How many of those rounds are there? 80 rounds. Let's do this. Oh, okay, hold on. It's not AC5 half, maybe? Okay. That's uh that's a machine. <laughs> Hate this guy. Wow, he's an enforcer. Uh but uh, it, it's an E, so it's an orange letter, but I'm gonna paint him something else. Uh Mer how is it that Merrick Merrick Sands, I see, because Merrick is like a purple thing going on here. Purple people eater. Oh I like that. Let's do that. Okay, buddy. Well, so there we go. Star map. Oh, let's stop at Marduk and see what kind of red... Rare weapons they have. I think that would be... Worth a stop. And see what we can get out of this deal. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. These are going to be expensive, aren't they? Rare... Large lasers, two of them. Oh man, I want them though. Okay, I have to have those. I have to have those because in a, there's another rare large laser. Which I bought both of them, didn't I? And there's a short laser tier three. Yeah, take that. So now I bought both of them, but it, that's that's like a bug in the game because I bought both of them. Um, I did put an antenna on one of my mechs too, by the way. Looking at these, seeing if there's there's no ultra auto cannon. Buy some more ammo just so I have it. And there's no ultra auto cannon here. Ammo. I'm gonna be on the lookout for that. Barracks. They're all rookies. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter. You gotta look at their stats, but I like having that to give me a quick assessment of what they're like. All right, let's go back to the star map. Then we kind of did what we could there. Let's go down here. Zosha. We're gonna do. The missions, at least, we're going to do the story flashpointy mission there, and then I will do all the boring stuff between there as we work our way over toward the next campaign mission. All right, let's take a look at this. September 3018, view transmission. All right, invasion support house Curita. Or the Federated Sons. Let's see what our our uh, relationship is. House Karita, we're negative, minus two negotiation points, plus two for Davian. So if we want to get something out of this, we should probably do the Davian ones, huh? And there's the two contracts. So there is no greater honor than to serve the dragon as the sword and the shields of the coordinator. Hmm. Okay. He's gonna give us. 237 sea bills, 450 reputation, and two things, and it's the same either way. Participating in the Davian counterattack. Well, we're going to get more negotiation points, and we're already pretty friendly with those guys, so let's do that. Oh, and then where does that take us on the star map? Let's go to target of opportunity, defense support, Davian view system. Where is that? It wants us to go up there. Okay. I think the smart thing for me to do is do missions on the way up there. Do like this, this, that. Well, we'll at least go through. We'll at least go through Prospernia. So. There we go. I'll do these missions. And then a defense and an assassination. You know what? There's a, these are higher level than I've seen so far. Let's do one of these just to see what it's going to be like. So I want to. You know, we got more negotiation points, so I want to see if we can come up with a mech. Um, hmm, who do I want to take out here? You know what? This guy's not as strong. I don't think that Shadowhawk is. Let's go take. We got a Shadowhawk, Shadowhawk, and we got this other Enforcer. That one's got the two AC5s. Let's try that. 
He's got four or five ballistics on him. Let's switch pilots and put Austin there. Austin and then Epperson. Austin. Epperson. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see how this works. We'll just do a short little defense mission, and then we'll get on with the rest of the story. I want to see what this is like, because these missions here are six points above anything I've been doing. Commander, we have hostiles moving towards local farming facilities. They have no way of defending themselves, so we need to reach Navalpa and set up a defensive perimeter ASAP. I didn't save the game, so the let's hope Commander. something doesn't go bad or I have to do all this all over again. Really in the thick of it here, aren't we? Mm -hmm. uh -oh. More helicopters. He caught a part of that. You guys take care of that thing, I'll take care of everything else. There you go. Good job, folks. All of our mechs are healthy, which is great. You're a tough one. That's the big one. These are heavy tanks. Heavy tanks doing their thing. Consider these guys. These guys, these little ones are just. Oh, taking off on me. These guys are just, uh. Aim it if we can like them. Yeah, that tank did a lot of damage to me, didn't it? What are we left at? 17 and 24. Okay. Oh, here we go. Now we've got somebody. Oh, jeez, more. All right, boys and girls, we're going to get a medium mech here. guys take that. I am a little 
speed up here, thanks to that tank. leg him. It's a mech for us if we can leg him. Forty-four <laughs> percent. Awesome. Okay, and I'm the most hurt one, so that's the situation we like to be in. Okay, I'm gonna do a bunch of missions, and then I will move to the flashpoint. Mission complete. Let's see what we got. We did get the Griffin, and we had enough salvage to get that, so that's cool. And then uh, medium lasers. Wow, nice medium lasers. Let's do that. I want these. These are nicer ones. They're tier twos. So let's grab that. 153 damage. Okay. We won't repair him until we get to a hub. So. Five days for the enforcer. Five days for that one to refit. You guys are back. Okay. Well then. I will see you folks uh, for the next mission. Okay, it is 12 February and we're here. We've arrived at Matar. Mater from Cars. And we picked up some battle mechs along the way. I finally picked up a blackjack, which is one of my favorite things to use early in the game as far as medium mechs go for leg shotting. And the reason is because you have two AC2s firing together, two medium lasers fire together, and another group of two medium lasers firing together. And that gives you a real quick one, two, three punch. The AC2s also fire really fast, so it gives you this really fast punch for taking down legs. I took the antenna off of uh, the Centurion, and I put it on here so you can see what the loadout looks like. It's got this AC2 ammo, no jump jets. Uh, the lasers... AC half ammo here because we don't have enough room really if it, unless I wanted to take a heat sink off which I might do if I start running into ammo problems uh, so far that's not been the case though and we got let's see and then where's the antenna why am I not seeing it alright after the fatal error we're back I'm going to use both of the enforcers there it is. For some reason, I've never seen that fatal error thing before. So that was interesting. So we'll go out here and give this a try. Let's see what this flashpoint mission is all about. It's a 27 rating. It's the highest one I've had so far. Back when you were a kid, dreaming of taking part in the epic Curator Davion conflict, I bet you never thought it would be like this. We've been tasked with destroying this system's water purification plant. Doing
doing so will come at a significant economic cost to the Draconis Combine and will likely weaken their position in the war. What are you guys doing here? Shooting at me like that. Oh, we got all kinds of stuff. I love the biomes that they've come up with. There's quite a few and it's really nice to see the different ones. I like how similar they are to Battletech in a lot of ways. How far away is this thing? Come around the corner. Here we go. Walk on up to the treasure to pick it up. To pick it up. Oh, there we go. Grab that one. There's treasure. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Okay. The more ballistics, the merrier. The more ballistics, the merrier. Well, of course. So now we'll roll down here and see about these tanks. And this mech. Urban mech. Urban mech. Focusing fire. You guys shoot the urban mech and I will do my best to... Yeah, there you are. You're really useless. You can see how fast those AC2s shoot. Which is pretty nice. Especially for leg shotting stuff, so... Oh, what do we have? We have somebody flying in? Yeah. And helicopters. I, I just really like the black jackets. And that's why I like using the Jaeger mech when I get one. Because it's basically an upgraded version of this. So it's just a very nice mech to have. That target is ours. Destroy the command center. He didn't like me doing that. Of course, he's getting some good shots there. Um, isn't it? I took way too many hits from from that one urban mech. Let other people get out in front there. Let other people take that lead. Take some of this stuff out. Got that. Oh, we have a centurion. That's a payday. Let's see if we can do that. I don't quite want these guys doing it though. Uh oh. One of my enforcers is taking some hits. in my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not good, is it? Oh, oh, he's... Get that leg. Oh, he's gonna walk around the building. Well, good for him.
guys are coring him out. I want the salvage. Oh, you ding dongs. I should have stuck with them. I should have stuck with them a little longer. That's probably my best salvage, and and it's no longer gonna happen. One more left. Go to the pickup zone. Where is the pickup zone? To my left, through these mechs that are about to land on us. Okay, let's see if we're gonna get a payday drop here then. Nope, two tiny ones. Yeah. Locus. I love it, there's always a mech here in these areas and you, my friend. Alston, I gotta get you out of there. Everybody else can keep fighting the locusts. He's taking a beating though. We gotta get him out of there. Yeah, there we go. Bring the ship in here. Some launching going on. Oh gosh, can I get it? No. Let me. She's talking, so I can't do it. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's interesting. Well, we're back. And yeah, we cored that guy out so we didn't get him. We get that AC-10 burst fire. That's nice. Uh, medium laser, that's a tier two. Bunch of SRMs. Let's go grab these ammos and then with the rest of it, AC-2, tier two, we'll just grab this stuff, I guess. LRM ammo. All right. Darn it. 18, we probably could have picked up that mech. 509 in damage, oh that sucks. Okay, so now, view transmissions. Freelancer, we are pleased with your strike against the Kuritan facility. During this last mission, we discovered the location of the Kurita High Commander. All right, so assassinate him, and that's gonna result in some stuff. Or, these guys will give me a PPC and an LRM, although the mercenary creeds run counter to the Bushido code of the Draconis Combine. The advantage of flexible morality cannot be ignored. Yeah. Uh, no, we'll keep working for these guys because we have higher up with them, so we're going to get more negotiation points. Uh, so we'll accept that with them, and that's going to tell me star date. Let's see. Let's go back to uh, operations. Objectives. Defense support. Which systems? Oh, it's one system over. Oh, great. Okay, that's not far away. What about you? You just took a lot of armor damage, and you took a little bit. Great. Okay, I'm waiting to outfit this one um, until I go to a, a different, to I go to a hub system. So, so let's continue on. Travel there. You can see that. Uh, we're low on money, and it was from buying that. It was from buying the uh, enforcer that had the two ultra auto cannon fives on it, and quickly stripping it of those weapons to save them for later when we have something really nice to use them on, like an annihilator. So here we go. Contracts. There's just this one assassination contract. So. Let's take it. Let's go do it. Assassination. So we're gonna get this is a hefty chunk. I'm gonna grab a little four hundred thousand of damage coverage. And we'll do that. Same oh you're still being that mech is still being worked on. Well, let's send you out in the other griffin then. That'll work. I forgot to paint that griffin though, so now it's just ugly. 
It's just plain old army ugly. Well, let's see if we can find this punk Reactor online. and kill him. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems I'll try not to push myself out in front as much. Your target is Tyson Richard Sato, a nasty fellow. He's as revered by his subordinates as he is feared by his foes. Prepare for him to be well protected. Well protected. Well, he's probably going to be over here at that far one. So we'll see if we have to deal with anything on the way. Blackjack, the BJ one. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, so. Yeah, like this is fun. Stomping over trees. <laughs> But you can see, I mean, I'm sure that the reason the biomes are this way is because that's the way they are in the tabletop version. But it's just really cool that there's some similarities between this and and Battletech. What's up there? I got something. Some kind of tank on the move. Kill that thing, will you? Got trees in the way. There we go. That thing's gone. What do we have over here? There's a tank over here. That's what we wanted. Get rid of those guys. Okay. What do we have here? Target acquired. Target destroyed. They're just gonna run around and come on now. I'm way behind on that guy, aren't I? Hmm, he's running around all over there. Use your LRMs, that's right. Use them. Switch myself around here. There we go. Take him down, boys. Blade unit under heavy fire. Blade unit. Yeah. How are you guys doing? You're not getting hit very much, which is great. Finish it off. It's almost dead. It's got a light hand Take left. All right, you guys, get back here with me. We're going to head down this way. I'm guessing this is where our bozo is. What do we have here? Big cannons off in the distance. That's kind of cool. Whoa, stop. Yeah, shoot that thing. Alright, let's shoot this thing. It's one of them. That's 
that's right. You can keep talking, buddy. I need to move. Scrap that one. Get that thing out of there. In position, boss. Yeah, Guys, fight. yeah, fight. What are you doing? Afford to take any more shots here, guys. So I'm gonna kind of can't afford to take any more hits. Try to do this guy behind. Ah, he's coming at me. This is going badly for me, especially. Get me out of here. Component lost. I repeat, component lost. Which component? Target. That's a confirmed kill on Seto. You've done good work, Commander. Okay. But you just kicked the hornet's nest. I'm picking up multiple units en route. I see that. If I were you, I'd get to the landing zone immediately. I'm getting zero reactor signature from the targets. Looks like we got them all. That bounty is ours. Fahad will break open a case of Tim Mickey Dark when you get back to the ship safely. There we go. Target destroyed. Target I don't care what you do with this one, just kill it. Trees. In my way. I'm gonna cut them all down if I have to. All I'm doing is wasting ammo on trees. Oh no, there's an assassin. Okay guys, where's our exit? It's over there. Assassin, I, I got three potentially good mechs here. I just don't know if we have enough salvage points to actually get any of them. But I didn't lose any weapons. One of my guys did. Let's see what happened. Not fun. All right, what do we have? We got 15 points. We <laughs> can't be killing me, Smalls. Oh man, I would have liked to have any one of these two. The Wolverine or the Kintara would have been great. Instead, I'm only going to get as a spider to sell. Ah, oh, bummer. Okay. Oh, and 746,000 worth of work. So, job well done. We get SRM4 and a medium laser times two. Not a big deal. Some reputation. That flash points over. 
over. All right, let's go to Mech Market and sell that piece of junk. You're out of here, buddy. You're worth some coin to me. Okay. So, on our way over to... Here's another flashpoint over here. As we work our way toward... Where is our... There's a flashpoint down here. High reward. There's where we want to go. Campaign mission. Okay. We're going to go over to Markab. And get some mechs put together. put those put some mechs together get everybody patched up and then we'll head over there's one more high reward quest flashpoint in the way there are pilots a couple of regulars here this guy has a total score of, oh my gosh he has a total score of 52 oh you're hired heck yeah look at him 35 to 52 he's got 8 10 and 8 in the bottom scores you are hired. You're so hired. I'm going to go to my pilot roster and cut a rookie here. Um, we got 24, 32, and 16 to 29. You're dismissed. All right. Mech market here. What do we have? Just a bunch of junk. There's a Phoenix Hawk. Let's go take our guys. Repair them. And then let's take this mech and load it out. Jump jets, you don't want to spend any money repairing them. Let's just get rid of them. Because we're not going to be using them. Single heat sink, don't worry about repairing it because we've got plenty of those. All right, AC2 ammo, single heat sinks, medium lasers, AC2s. That's good. full ammo on him so he can have oh because he doesn't have an extra heat sink that's why okay because the other ones had the other one that I'm in has that many heat sinks and that's why I did a half so then I do a half ammo and I strip off five on each side for the legs and that gives me basically a duplicate of what I've got so that's awesome then we'll paint him let's paint him Let's see. Black. Black. Oh, and give him what kind of design. Flames are always flames are always welcome. Let's do this one a little different though. The other one's kind of bluish color. That'll work. Alrighty. Actually, I think I got his flames wrong, because Oh, that's kinda cool. I might want a different, slightly different color. Yeah, the white's almost cool. Wow. All right. Well then, that's where we're at. 15 April 3019, folks. As always, if you dig it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, like the video. I will see you all. See you all on the next one. Oh, there's oh there's mix. Okay, on the next episode, we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, visiting along the way as we head down here to go to. See you all next time. Happy gaming, everyone. Enjoy your day.